Why? Lennon is dead. <gasps> Why me? You know Sparsky. Sparsky? What's he got to do with this? He says you know about Kenneth. He says you're the perfect person. For what? To help. With what? The body. <gasps> Lenin dies and uh, Stalin takes over and they want to, against uh, Lenin's wishes, uh, make him into a kind of a god figure uh, and replace religion with this Soviet mythology. And to do that, um, they figure embalming Lenin would be a great way to you know, gather the people around this one image, this one ideal, this one icon. And so he enlists the help of two uh, biochemists or biologists, or whatever you want to call them, to try to attempt to embalm Lenin forever. And um, chaos and hilarity ensue. I'm Nadia. I'm actually three different Nadias. Every woman in the show is called Nadia, and I play all three of them. There's Nadia 1. She is the loving, devoted wife of Lenin. Nadia 2, who is the unhappy, promiscuous, power-hungry Nadia. She's the wife of Boris. And Nadia 3, who is the young, ingenue scientist who, who's in love with Vladimir, the brilliant scientist. So you've got all your stereotypical women in the show and I get to discover all of them. <laughs> Everything's possible in Moscow! 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 Moscow.